The future of medical robotics just took a massive leap forward, and it's not coming from where you might expect. Today, we're talking about something that sounds like it's pulled from a science fiction blockbuster. Robots smaller than grains of rice performing surgeries inside your body. At the center of this innovation is Tori Smith, CEO of NDATX, who's not just dreaming of the future, he's building it. His company is creating technologies like the PillBot, a swallowable, camera-equipped robot that could replace invasive procedures like endoscopies. But that's only the beginning. Smith's vision goes far beyond swallowable robots into realms like nuclear-powered, ultra-miniaturized machines that can revolutionize medicine as we know it. Alfie here, let's break it all down, because this is the kind of story that will have you questioning if we're already living in the future. The PillBot. Redefining endoscopies. So, what exactly is the PillBot, and why is it such a big deal? Imagine this. Instead of undergoing an invasive endoscopy with a tube down your throat, you simply swallow a small capsule. Once inside your stomach, this capsule, a tiny robot equipped with a camera, navigates your insides, controlled remotely by a doctor. In real time, it captures clear, detailed images that help diagnose conditions like ulcers or other gastrointestinal issues. And when the job's done, it exits your body the natural way. No sedation, no recovery time, no stress. The PillBot is being hailed as the world's first low-cost, remote-controlled pill for endoscopy. It's sleek, innovative, and most importantly, accessible. This isn't just a luxury for a few. It has the potential to democratize diagnostic healthcare. Think about what that could mean for people in rural areas or developing countries where traditional endoscopy equipment might not be available. A small, portable robot like the PillBot could make early diagnosis accessible to millions. The journey to PillBot. From science fiction to reality. Now let's talk about the man behind this innovation. Tori Smith. Smith's journey isn't your typical medical startup success story. He's drawn inspiration from both deeply personal experiences and classic science fiction. Movies like Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan and Inner Space planted the seeds for his futuristic ideas. But it wasn't just about cool concepts. It was also about solving real-world problems. Smith has seen firsthand the pain and challenges of medical conditions in loved ones. Those experiences shaped his drive to create medical solutions that are not just innovative, but also meaningful. A history of disruptive innovation. Before launching NDATX, Smith already had an impressive track record in medical device development. He spent years developing tools to remove arterial plaque, addressing major cardiovascular issues. His work on vapor ablation devices became a gold standard in minimally invasive gynecological treatments and he helped innovate vascular closure systems that dramatically reduced recovery times for catheterization procedures. All of these were commercially successful, but Smith reached a turning point, a moment where he asked himself, do I want to spend my career improving someone else's dream, or do I want to create something entirely new? This question led him to take a bold leap into uncharted territory, the world of ingestible robots from burning man to medical robots. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Before Endiatex, Smith had already proven he could turn crazy ideas into reality. At Burning Man, he created a theme camp called Sextant, which featured a 30-foot, million-volt Tesla coil. This wasn't just an artistic spectacle. It was a massive technical challenge, requiring ingenuity, engineering, and collaboration. Smith described the experience as life-changing. Doing all that, I realize there's a difference between what you do as a hobby and as a professional, he said. That realization fueled his journey into medical robotics, where he now applies the same daring, innovative mindset to solving some of the healthcare industry's toughest problems. Overcoming skepticism and breaking new ground. When NDATX first launched, it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Imagine pitching the idea of a swallowable robot to investors or the media. Many people were skeptical. Are these guys real, or are they just another set of jokers? Smith recalls hearing in the early days. But through hard work, ingenuity, and perseverance, Smith and his team proved the skeptics wrong. 
Today, the PillBot is undergoing clinical trials and gaining attention from medical professionals worldwide. Thinking small. The future of miniaturized robots. Now here's where things get really exciting. The PillBot is just the beginning. Smith envisions a future where robots are smaller than a grain of rice. These tiny machines, what he calls microsurgeons, could navigate your body, performing precise interventions on a microscopic scale. Imagine a robot entering your bloodstream to repair a damaged artery or targeting a tumor with unparalleled precision. These are not far-off fantasies. They're ideas that Smith is actively working to make a reality. The technology behind the vision. For such tiny robots to exist, they'll need groundbreaking technologies. Smith and his team are developing custom silicon chips and microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, to enable ultra-miniaturization. They're also exploring nuclear beta-voltaic batteries as a power source. These batteries harness energy from a tiny radioactive source, providing a steady trickle of power. Wait, nuclear batteries in robots? Yes, you heard that right, nuclear-powered medical robots. At first glance, it might sound alarming. But let's unpack it. The amount of radioactive material used would be incredibly small, just a fleck, as Smith describes it. And with proper shielding, any radiation would be safely contained. Smith compares it to something as ordinary as eating a banana, which contains natural radioactive isotopes. In fact, the radiation exposure from these batteries could be even lower than what you get from everyday activities. This isn't science fiction. Radioactive seeds have already been safely used in oncology for decades to treat prostate cancer. Smith sees this as the next logical step in harnessing nuclear energy for medical innovation. What this means for healthcare. So, what does all of this mean for the future of healthcare? The potential is enormous. Miniaturized robots could provide real-time insights that are currently impossible to achieve. They could deliver medicine directly to affected cells without harming surrounding tissue. And with robots like the PillBot, traditional surgeries and diagnostics could become a thing of the past. Smith's bold predictions. Smith is already looking ahead. He predicts that compact nuclear-powered robots could one day tackle some of the most challenging medical issues, like brain cancer. Maybe it could be like the 2001 space pod, little robot arms that come out, Smith says, referencing 2001 A Space Odyssey. This vision aligns with the broader trend of robotics moving toward less invasive, more precise solutions. The future is closer than you think. Tori Smith and Endia Techs are proving that the future of medical robotics isn't decades away. It's happening now. From the pill bot to nuclear-powered microsurgeons, these innovations are poised to transform healthcare as we know it. What do you think about these advancements? Are you excited about the possibilities? Or do you have questions about the safety and ethics of such technologies? Let's dive into the conversation in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by these updates as I am, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into groundbreaking innovations like this one. The future is happening faster than we ever imagined. Let's keep exploring it together.